This is Zane Carter with WKRUG, public radio for our little mountain community with its thick misty forests, rivers, and occasional bit tidbits of oddness. Now before we get into anything important, who took the cookbooks? I claimed them before the estate sale even started. Whoever bought them will come forward, I'll buy them from you. Please, I really want those cookbooks. Oh, also, slightly important topic, you guys remember the audio at the end of the last broadcast? Us here at the station would like to apologize, but none of us are sure what caused it. The person in charge after me knows nothing, and there aren't any, really any clues. We, thought, we think over here it's just interference. We're looking into it. Yesterday, while everyone was napping to the docile monotone voice of Preacher Alexander, someone released a small herd of about seven goats into the church. They weren't noticed at first, then one of the little buggers started nibbling on old Lady Paula's dress. That woman rained the wrath of God upon that goat. I wouldn't wish animal violence on anyone, but Jesus. On a related note, Wally Mart is having a sale on pork chops. It's the only meat in stock, so I don't think it'll last very long. As all of you know, curfew has been enacted. Not even hours later, the lights in the trees appeared. Several children and elderly have been stopped from trying to leave their homes in a trance-like state. I found that they find baby gates particularly hard to get past. For more tips, on how to protect your family from themselves, go to our Facebook page. Chuck, the homeless man that sleeps behind the DMV, stopped Lyle and said, and I quote, Little Wolf would get caught in his own web, and then just walked away like nothing happened. It doesn't make any sense at all. Everyone knows there hasn't been a wolf sighting in the area for decades. The lights got them all. Speaking of interns, Mike, Mitch, whatever that guy's name is we employ here, lives quite a ways from the station on the other side of the fog. Well, the other night, when he was driving home, he said he saw a beautiful woman with blood red hair and wearing a white dress walking along the side of the road. He would have been stopped to pick her up, but he didn't want to scare her. He's a bear of a man. It's completely understandable. This man is huge here. So he left her there. When he got home and told his girlfriend about the woman, she told him about that was a good thing. He hadn't picked her up. She went on to tell him about a red-haired woman that caught her husband to be in bed with another and was going to tell her father. Wanting to keep her dowry, he killed her and strung her up by the side of the road to make it look like she killed herself. Now, now it's said that the same woman wanders the road and kills men who try to pick her up. Sounds like a horrible night for everyone involved, pretty much. Now we segue into traffic. Many cars are going towards the National Park to get a bit of late camping done before the weather takes a turn. Oddly enough, the same amount of cars aren't coming out of the fog. Must have gotten lost. Otherwise, streets are pretty clear, with only the occasional car. That means my commute back home should be pretty easy tonight. Now let's hop into our community calendar. Here in our community calendar, we talk about the things that are going on in our community that most of you should know by now. Sunday, church will be held outside because of cleaning and repairs from the goat incident. Eyewitnesses say after the goat incident, there was tons and tons of fecal matter in the pews, the organ, and several places that will not be mentioned here. Monday, the town will be completely silent. Even if you scream, no one will hear you. Tuesday, the community college will be giving free haircuts. You won't choose to go in. They'll nab you off the street, just like usual. Wednesday, Queenies is having half-price dinners, although there's a meat shortage in town at the moment. Not entirely sure what they'll be serving. Thursday is election day, people. Remember, go to your closest voting station by Friday. We'll know if you didn't, and you'll be shamed until next election. 
Friday, society is imploding as we watch an abject horror. Do what you want. Saturday, avoid the gazebo, avoid the park, be the couch potato you were always born to be. Now, a word from our sponsors. Queenies, we have the meat. Even when there is no meat. Speaking of having no meat, my ex Stacy got married two weeks ago and is already making eyes at the son of our town mayor, who I believe is just turning 18, which is a new high for her, because she's going for the ones that are legal. That doesn't say much about her. I mean, ever remember the time with the high school football team after she graduated? Well, my time is up. Time for a break. Take it away, Sky. Thanks. The town's pretty clear, as in the sky above and the ground below. It's been reported that the fog has surrounded the town. Only select people can leave. We aren't sure how the selection is made. We just do just do not try to escape. You will be caught and returned, like a fish caught by a sports fisherman. Back to you, Zane. Welcome back, listeners. A person uh, has been reported missing. Pale little Hamish Holmes. You know, the little kid with the orange eyes has disappeared. He was last seen sitting on a swing in the park, wearing, a bl wearing black shorts and a tan long sleeve shirt. He was supposed to be home before dark, but never made it, in fact. No one saw him leave the park, which is very strange. His dads, John and Scott, are frantic with worry. If you have any information, please call this number, 555-853-3012. Until Halloween, what's left of the program will be used to tell local legends and the like. Unfortunately, in extremely bad taste. The next story is about a missing child. I'm sorry, John and Scott. We don't have anything else to plan. I'm sorry. In the little camp, you know, the old camp, the one that closed down because of all the bear sightings a couple years ago, on the side of the mountain, at least 10 children went missing in a single day. Five years ago, one of the children that hadn't disappeared mentioned seeing a tall, pale-faced man with red eyes before the group of two or three wandered into the woods by themselves to play and explore. They never came out. At first, the camp counselors believed the kids were playing hide-and-seek, with the counselors as seekers. They thought they had waited long enough. The children would get bored or hungry and come out. And then it started getting dark, and no one came out of the trees. Even if they had gotten lost, they were sure the red-eyed the red man would return them to the camp, or even to their homes. But one thing that appeared was straw dolls in the campers' beds. Since the founder of our little town, the man with red eyes has been a guide for lost hunters and campers and wandering adventurous children. But something was changed in the recent years. He still guides hikers and hunters to trails, or even home, but he has started keeping the children. It started with a little girl named Freya. She was the first child that went missing before dark. Her friends claimed she followed a raven that had taken one of her hair clips into the trees, but never came out. Her parents were, were certain that the red-eyed man would find her and bring her home. They waited. Hours turned to days, days turned to weeks, weeks turned into months. But their little girl never came out. All that appeared was a little straw doll that looked like they were that looked like their daughter. The man with red eyes takes children and leaves straw dolls in their tents or beds. At home, sometimes. Other times, he leaves nothing for the parents to find. We're unsure as to why, but we're always watching, and one day, we'll soon understand. Oh, well, look at the time. It's the end of the program, my faithful listeners. We leave you tonight with some dulcet tones. For you guys who are your drives home from work, be safe. Good night out there, Salem. And remember, we're always listening. Nine one one, what's your emergency? I, I, I can't. 
I can't move. You can't move? I, 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 I can't. I can't move. I need help. Okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stay on the line. Can you describe your location? I, I can see my car. I, I, I can see. I, I just, I can't. It's, 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 I can't get past it. I can't, I can't get past it. Do you know what street you're on? I'm, I'm, my home. I'm, I'm right, I'm. Where's I'm, home? Where do you live? I'm on, I'm on Probasco Street. Probasco? Yes, I'm, I'm on Probasco Street. I, I can't, I, okay, it's, okay. it's right in front of me. I can't. It's, Help it, is it, on the way. It, Stay it, calm. It what do you see? It's, What's it's, happening? It's, it's, right, it's, right in, it's right in front of me. It's, 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 Are you being attacked? No. It's, it's not attacking me. It's, it's this. It's just... It's this... It's this... It's, it's in front of my car. I don't know what it is. It, it's got... It, it, it's poor... It, it's got... Stay calm. Help is on the way. I don't Get know if it's, it's, it's a, a dog or a cat or a, a something, a raccoon. I don't know what it is. It's just covered in... Okay, calm down. Calm down. Get some distance from it. Stay on the back. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's right, it's right in front of me, and I can't move. It, it's got this. It, it, it's looking at me. It won't. It won't stop looking at me. I. I I've tried. I mean. Stay calm. I, I can't get past. Stay calm. I you can't. need to stay on the line. It's coming to you. It won't. It won't. It won't let me. It won't let me. What won't let you? This thing. It's got. It's. It's looking at me. It's got the. Body of what it was this? It, it, I think it was a raccoon. It, 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 Slow it's down. eating it. Just, it, it Slow through down. the bones in front of me, and I, I can't get. I can't move. It was bones. Is, is, is it some eyes. kind of large animal? Yeah, it, 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 I, I don't know. It, it looks. It's sort of like it should have been a person, but I don't know what it is anymore. And it's. It's. Got, these eyes are like. Coming to you. They'll be I'm there sorry. shortly. No. I, I, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm You'll sorry. be fine. You'll be I'm fine. Sorry. Help is coming I, I to you. Hello? Hello?